Aha! Here we go. Okay. Just waiting for Faddy to uh, Faddy to turn up for our conversation. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Tardis H63. Party starts here. Does indeed. Hello, Belgian girl, 95. Hello, Reese Walker. I'm Barbara Tammy Ryder. Hello. Sheep can fish. Hello. Hello. Hello to all of you. I can't get. I can't give you all shout outs. I suppose I can. Kai Fisher. Oh, Faddy's sent a request to be in the video. Okay, it's just saying it's waiting for Faddy. Hello. Connecting it. Hey man, how's it going? Woo! What's happening? <laughs> how's it going, mate? I'm all right, man. Guess what? Can you hear me well? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you okay. I can hear you okay. Yeah, yeah, Lovely. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Ooh, so did you, you did you just watch? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. I'm not, I'm not bad at all. How are you doing? How are you I'm faring? Good, I just though? finished watching the episode as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. I I think episode six is is where it all um, really sort of comes into focus and like you know it's 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 the I think it's the strongest. Um, well, from yeah. that point onwards, we're all you know we're hitting the ground running and everyone's like at the top of their game. It felt like that, yeah. Even when I was watching, I was like, you know, we was just you could see us the confidence start to grow and we was just sort of getting started and you know the characters were really coming out. Yeah, no. yeah, man. Episode the six, act. Episode I think six. the acting is is so is so strong in episode six. I think you know it's just. I guess everyone's just really confident about their characters and everything, and it's just the performances yeah. are great. Um, yeah. So I remember Derek. Derek was telling me that you guys had more time um, to like rehearse for episode six because it was all in one yeah. location. Yeah, you get a bit yeah. more like rehearsal time. So and you got to work with Wayne, who is I love Wayne. Isn't Wayne just great? He's amazing. He's amazing. Even watching it now and just seeing like some of the ideas that he would just spontaneously create on the spot, like even with the the effects and the big blow dryer and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See how we filmed that scene with Charlie. Um, yeah, no, he's really cool his ideas. And even, I only just noticed it now, like when, the, when the, the episode finishes and the class comes back to normal, it just looks horrible. <laughs> so I actually preferred it when it was really dark. Yeah. <laughs> mm. He managed, when, when I, I remember when I, when I read the script for that, I was like, I was a bit worried that, it was all going to be in one location and I was just like oh man that's going to be like so hard so yeah. hard to shoot um, yeah. and to like make it work but it's the way that he moves the camera and everything is just really inventive and it's just it's, it's such a cool looking episode yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, I was very happy with that episode <laughs> <laughs> it's so just... funny even watching it back because I can't lie I haven't I haven't watched that episode in a while so when I'm watching it yeah. back now, even some of the stuff that Ram says, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe some of the stuff Ram says, to be honest with you. Wow, yeah, no, yeah, it, it gets quite it gets quite intimate, doesn't it? It gets it gets yeah. he, he's, he lays his heart out on the um, line. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh the con the connection's going. Is the re is the reception the connection's the going reception a little bit, isn't it? Um, my reception should be is fine. Okay? Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm on the Wi-Fi, so I should be okay. You've been doing loads of live videos recently, so you should be okay, shouldn't you? Well, I don't know. Tell me. Is you're okay? very, you're very, you're very, you're, you're, you're very pixelated. You're very, you're, 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 really? you're quite pixelated. Yeah. All right. But am I, do I look quite pixelated? No, you look, you look beautiful, mate. You look fine. <laughs> <laughs> you say all the you say all the right things. Um, right. <laughs> and read and read and read some of the comments. Gre hello, greetings from Germany. Hello, Amy. Hey, Toots. Hi. Hi, Amy. 
Do you want to come say hi? My niece always wants to come say hi in my life. Definitely come say hi, yeah. Come say hi quickly. Come with Sophie's me. watching. Hi, Sophie. Shopkins. Uh, am I still blurry? Because if it's blurry, I'm just going to have to move um, upstairs. I'm in my room right now. It is is a little bit blurry, yeah. If you if you if you go, I'll I'll try and answer some questions. If you wanna if you wanna move upstairs, you get better reception. All right, cool. Just bear with me in like two seconds. I'll be. That's that's fine. Okay, we're still we're still going. I think we're still live, are we? Um, Brinkley Ripper, how was it composing an episode set entirely in one single location? Um, yeah, it's tricky because things that are set in real time, in general, don't tend to uh lend themselves to music as much so when i heard about that episode i thought maybe there wouldn't be very much music in it but actually the way that wayne had shot it with lots of movement in the camera and being very dynamic there was actually quite a lot of music in the episode so it was a little bit different and um, from what i was expecting shopkins says word classic shopkins um how <laughs> many knobs does he have? Um, that is that is a uh, reference to the episodes that we uh, some of us just watched on Twitter. Um, I don't know. I have to, uh, only Patrick Ness knows the answer uh, to how many knobs um, Charlie has, or possibly Greg. I'll ask Greg and see if he knows how many knobs uh, Charlie had. Um, duh, duh, duh. Too many peeps are doing <laughs> Instagram lives. To be honest, uh, maybe that's some. Um, because uh, well, that's the problem with the reception. Was that Vivian? I think we've got Vivian in the house as well. Vivian, we're going to have to do. We're going to have to do an Instagram live as well. Um, Jordan, Jordan, ah, uh, Jordan as well. Hopefully, we'll be able to get. Oh wait a second, is Fadi? Ah, there we go. Jordan, we should do one next week. I promise Fadi we do one um, this week. What's happening? You're back. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. You're looking less pixelated. That's good. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. We've got the, the, the whole gang. You've had to get it. Jordan was watching. Vivian was watching. Sophie was on. Oh, it. Jay Renzo. My little Benzo. <laughs> I miss you, my boy. Oh. <laughs> He's in. He's in. It's a shame we can't do more than two people on Instagram Live because then we can have Jordan as well. But um, yeah. you, can't, you can't. You can't do it that way. Um, yeah. So what's it? What's it been like rewatching the class episodes like four years later for you? Have you? Have you? Have you really enjoyed seeing them again? Yeah, no, I have. I have. Obviously, it's a bit different now. Um, four years later, you're like, oh, this we could have done differently and stuff. But other than that it's it's yeah no it's so amazing to see the the love is still so strong for class even yeah, it's the, yeah. And i can only you know you could only imagine what it would have been like if it would have continued so yeah you know, yeah, I'm just loving yeah. The fans, man. i know man i know man it gets it gets us it was, greg and i were talking last week about how like the ptsd from just not knowing what was going to happen and then hearing about it and being like oh okay so that's what's happening nothing's nothing's happening and then but then we i guess yeah. we got to, we got to do some more with um with, with big finish yeah. which, which was which was great have you yeah. you probably haven't heard them yet because usually they send out copies on cd right? no i so haven't you... they, they haven't sent them to me i heard the first bits but the new ones that everyone's really loving yeah. i haven't heard i haven't heard so i really want to see or hear what it's like I'll speak to I'll speak to Scott. Are watching, um, send them through, please. <laughs> I will speak to I will speak to Scott Hancock and see if we can um, <laughs> get some digital files for you, so you can actually hear it. Yeah, because that would be that'd be cool. Because it's not it's 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 a shame that you can't hear it. When I you're know in people it. seem to love them. Like everyone, everyone's saying such nice things about them. Mm. Um, yeah. It's crazy. No one's noticed. I actually thought I'd drop an Easter egg today, but this is the jumper I was wearing in episode six. Ah. <laughs> that's that's I amazing. Thought, you know what? Why not? Yeah, well, I'm I'm also wearing a great jumper. It's not it's not the episode six jumper, but I you never yeah, you might have wore it to compose or I don't know. Did you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the new jumper. <laughs> I told you know that that jacket I was wearing when we had the we had the premiere of class um, in Shoreditch. Um, that yeah. jacket that I wore was one that I saw in Topshop, which looked very Ram, and I bought it because okay. I was like, "Oh, that's that, that looks that looks you know what? cool." It's so great. funny. Everyone I was trying to do cosplay for Ram was just like second guessing because they didn't actually know where the outfits were coming from. So oh, really? Were just <laughs> second, but they were very close. I saw some very very close cosplays. 
really, really. Was that was was that costume bought from in the high street, or was it made? Do you know? Do you know like what the what, what costume? Where, where Rams where Rams clothes? Rams stuff, costumes really? were predominantly from All Saints. To be fair, were they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I remember some people were trying to cosplay as well, and they realised the jackets were like three hundred pound and such stuff. Um, oh yeah, man. But, yeah. yeah. No, all of it. I was actually shocked. That was for me a bit of a moment when I was going costume fitting all in All Saints, and it was like, pick what you want. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, so yeah. is that so that so that's how they did it. They actually took took you out and said like, what do you think? Yeah, you know, yeah. knowing your character and stuff. Like, what do you reckon you'd wear? That's really oh, 100%. cool. There was so much prep for this character. I remember more than any role that I've done, they sort of gave us a breakdown of the characters and what our rooms would look like and our dress sense and our music and just mm. down to every detail and obviously all the other characters as well. Um, so we really got a sense of the vision before we even started. We kind of had an idea of what they wanted the show to look like. Right. Um, so yeah, we went costume fitting and they had sort of pictures of characters that they, you know, thought they wanted me to look like and we sort of based the outfits around them. Um, so yeah, that was that's, cool, man. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's sad though when you know when it, I guess when it costs like three hundred pounds for the yeah. for, for the jacket. But I mean, it, was, it looks it, it looks amazing. There was a scarf like they did um for the Doctor Who Christmas special or festive special um last year or whatever. There was a scarf that Jodie was wearing, the new Doctor, yeah, yeah, the and one, yeah. and it was from Paul. It was from Paul Smith, and it was like seventy pounds for the scarf. So all these, yeah. but, but loads of people bought it because they obviously they wanted they, they wanted I to have imagine, it. So, I can imagine. It, yeah, yeah, nice. No, that's yeah. that's so quite expensive for a scarf. I mean, it is a lot for very. It is a lot for a scarf. But I mean, if you're trying to complete the doctor's outfit, yeah. I mean, I've I've, I've heard of fans spending a lot more than seventy or even three hundred pounds. <laughs> I have, I have, I have, I have. Yeah, I have heard of fans. So, yeah, really, seventy actually. pounds for me to be fair, Blair, does not shock me at all. But that's just the scarf, though. That's just the scarf, isn't it? Because then, but but then you've the got doctors. to get... It's the doctors. It's the doctors you've, outfit, you've got, isn't it? You've got to get the jacket. You've got to get the trousers. You've got to get the boots. You've got to get everything. Exactly. Oh, mate, I see some stuff at, at, at um, Comic-Con. That's just unreal. Like, the effort that, you know, not even just Doctor Who fans, but people that get into, like, the cosplay competitions and stuff, and the ones that actually make their costumes and, you know, actually mend them and... Yeah, I, I saw a horrific moment. Uh, I think it was MCM. I'm not sure which one, where someone created this this huge character with wings, and then someone crashed into them, and he broke right. one of the wings, and it was like really. Yeah, I oh. felt really sorry for him because um, he said it took oh, him, no. like, eight, eight months to make, and yeah. So they do they do put in a lot of effort, but I love that man. I wish I could. I mean, I have a passion like that for certain things, but you know, even just Doctor Who fans, the passion that they have for the show, and just people you generally see at MCM, like are just. Yeah, that passion is just yeah beautiful. I so I I sat next to somebody. Um, there was a dinner at um, a Time Lash in in Germany. It was a Doctor Who um, convention last year, where um, this guy had gone to the same tailor that had made Peter Capaldi's costume, his his suit and everything, and he'd got yeah. him to make like the exact. And it was obviously quite exp expensive. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got yeah. To make the exact same thing, but obviously to his yeah. dimensions. And it was, yeah. I mean, it was beautiful. It was, it was, it was very impressive. But yeah, it yeah. can, can, can cost a lot of money. I saw somebody say that they're a broke fan, so they, they sew all their stuff. I think making your own stuff is I mean, is even better, making anyway. your own stuff, making your own stuff, I've seen people make some amazing stuff. And it takes them a while to make, and then they get to wear it at Comic-Con, and it's just like the effort that goes into it in detail. I, I love that. I have so much respect for people that, you know, have a passion like that for anything. So keep yeah. doing what you're yeah. doing, honestly. I've got a, a question for you, Faddy. If, if there was a second series of class, would you have liked to act alongside Jodie Whittaker playing the Doctor? I mean, yeah, I would love <laughs> I mean, of course wouldn't. you would. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? I mean, I loved, mm. absolutely loved, even if it was a short amount of time with Peter Capaldi. Um, yeah. That, that, that for me was special, and he was a special man, and just, yeah, I, I absolutely loved... I'll never forget the moment that he actually, when they told us uh, Peter Capaldi was coming onto set, so obviously you can imagine everyone was <laughs> starstruck and excited and anxious. And I remember being at the tea table and he came up to me and was like, oh, you're, you know, you're fatty, right? I was like, what? You know who I am? Um, and yeah, just even that, that gesture for me was just, that's what really started, it just completely broke the ice. And I didn't, obviously I was still a bit starstruck, but just felt a lot more comfortable around him because I don't know, he's just very just so so down to earth and so genius yep. in what he does that yeah top man. yeah but yeah obviously who wouldn't want to love with uh, work with jody 
He, yeah, he, he he had a lot of love um, for class, Peter uh, Capaldi. He was he was he was a big big fan of the whole thing. Um, yeah. He was he was he was he was very kind to all of us. Um, he was. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, I met I met him. I was saying to Greg last week. I I I met him when I was working on a thing for Mark Gatiss, doing a ghost story um, Christmas thing, and he he totally knew who who I was and was very nice about the music and everything. It's the little um, things, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, it goes a long way when just you know someone you you know assume is going to be this uh, superstar who doesn't even take notice of who you are, but actually knows your name and makes an effort to see how you are. It's just the little things that you know go a long way. It really is. I'm seeing some of the other uh, some of the other um, comments here. Um, if you if you'd have a, had a season two, what would you have liked to have seen for like a story storyline for Ram? Where would you have liked to seen him seen him go? What about like what happens with April and stuff like that? <laughs> would you, you, would, you, that would, you, would you have played mind. the field for the whole of season two and then got back with her at the end, or is, was was the, the love too I strong? Think, I think that was just. Uh, I think he was a bit hurt in that moment. Some people say yeah. horrible things, but well, they try to you know get into you when they're when they're angry, and I feel like that's what Ram was trying to do in that moment. I feel like yeah. she really hurt him, and he was just trying to throw a dig back. Um, but I feel like the love's strong for April. It was it, kept, it was growing, you know, and I can only imagine it would have kept growing. I feel like they would have fought, fought oh. all the baddies together, um, and it would yeah. have continued to grow. And I feel like all the relationships were blossoming. You know, it would have been nice to see a relationship blossom between me and Jordan, for sure. <laughs> all yeah. Time. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. Did you did you enjoy the Miracle Day convention? Were you at the Miracle Day convention? Oh my god, yeah, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> so, that, so that's so that, that's a torch that's a torchery convention, isn't it? That they had, some, yeah, yeah, they had yeah. You, Was it uh, you and Sophie or someone went along? That, that's a historical one. Yeah, that's a that's that's yeah, that one was brilliant. One I'll definitely remember for life. <laughs> apparently, crazy. apparently, I don't I, I don't ever imagine I, I I never ever imagine this happened. But apparently, I was giving people like telling people my room number stuff because I've got oh, really? smashed up of gummy bears. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got smashed up with, it, with the alcoholic gummy bears? Yes, oh, that's, that's what Miracle Day's about. It had alcoholic gummy bears. Um, and even now when I'm saying this, I don't believe it. But apparently right. I was giving, telling people my room number. Because um, I was so smashed up for gummy bears, but there you go. Mir go like, come, come have a party in Ram's room. <laughs> yeah, apparently so, apparently so. But do you know what? It's, it felt like I've done, you know, a few conventions now and that one where it was like a, I think it was a weekend thing and you just sort of, you just build this family and community over a couple of days and it just doesn't, it takes away that, obviously it's good to be professional, but just that, you know what I mean, that awkward professionalism side of things you see at yeah, conventions. Yeah, definitely. You just really be yourself and just, you know, be with friends and family almost rather than that sort of queuing up and paying hundreds of pounds to... Yeah, I I like the I like the smaller the the smaller ones as well. Um, it's it, it's nice because yeah, the kind of the bigger ones. I've done I've done Comic Con in San Diego and I did a did a panel there and stuff. And it is just just you know it's such a large event that it's just yeah, yeah. it's yeah, it's a, it just it's a, it's a different it's it's cool. It's really fun. But it's a different time. Yeah, of but even then, like at the bigger ones, obviously with with the class lot, I remember every person that I meet. But yeah. with, with the bigger conventions, it, it can be. I mean, class never got to that level where it was unbelievable. Like, you know, it would be yeah. difficult to remember your your people. But yeah. it becomes more personal. Like with the, the 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 Miracle Day ones, you literally know everyone's names and you get to hear stories about them, and it just really becomes more personal rather than just that the uh, MCM. Well, yeah. not just MCM, yeah, but convention type of thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Somebody said that you wanted um, hash browns. There you go. Apparently, apparently, I wanted hash browns as well. Yeah, it's it's all coming out. It's all coming out. It's it's all coming out. You you probably have very little memory of it, but some some other people probably on this chat have a memory of what actually. Um, they what they actually... Oh, yeah yeah. I've met them a few times after that, and they said, "Fatty, it, it happened." <laughs> I still don't believe it, but there you go. Somebody said Ram Ram and April's Shadowkin would have got engaged in season two. Oh yeah, that would have that would have had an impact on your sex life, to be honest, wouldn't it? <laughs> For sure, yeah. That would For have been, Ram, <laughs> yeah, awkward, very awkward. <laughs> that would I would have liked to I would have liked to see what happened um, there. Uh, somebody says, uh, "Well, I must go to Miracle Day." I don't think I don't think they do Miracle Day anymore. I've got a funny feeling it was like a, there was something like oh, it was hey, the last. Jack. Thing. Oh, sorry, Shakira Darren, one of my favorite casting directors, is in here. Oh, amazing! Yeah. 
I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they do it anymore. I think they might have said it was the if it was it was the last one because I did one during the. But I was only there for like an hour or two during the day. And we did like a Torchwood Big Finish panel, and then I had to leave. And I, I didn't get to stay for all the gummy bun, all the gummy bear fun. <laughs> if I'd known about that, I would have I would have stayed and got drunk. I'm Scottish. No, it's, it's, uh, honestly, yeah, it's definitely one for the. You definitely have to. It's a lifetime experience. I'll definitely try it at some point. I don't know if there's going to yes. be any other ones though, because every time we do it, they say it's the last one. Um, oh just... yeah, it's Shakira. Yeah, I know Shakira as well. Oh, there you go. I didn't know you knew her. Yeah. How do you know Shakira? I think we just know each other through the sort of film, film and TV world. Um, we've got lots of mutual friends and stuff, so we've just ended up at the same parties or you know just yeah drinking through with friends. I haven't had a chance to party with her yet, but I have a feeling she she's, loves party. She's great. <laughs> she's, she's great fun. She's yeah. super casting director, but also super super fun to have drinks with and hang out with um, as well. Um, so big big shout out for her. She's done some good um, live content through um, some of this she as well. Has. I, she has. She has. Yeah, I haven't. Met, I've seen that she's been doing lots. Of, she's been very active. It's great. Yeah. Um, a lot happened, but what happened at Miracle Day stays at Miracle Day. There you go. Your secrets are safe for these there guys. You go. They're, look, they're looking out. They're looking out. <laughs> I can only imagine what happened. They, they know where all the skeletons are buried, though, so don't, <laughs> so don't, don't anger them. Otherwise, you know. <laughs> oh, um, da, da, da. What are they? Um, need to get Ram back on the TV. I mean, I agree. I agree. What have you? You've 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 done lots of difficult things um, since class, haven't you? What's what, what's been your favorite project you worked on since? Since class, I saw something where you were like all dressed up as like a like a, almost like a kind of like vampire or something. We had like you know what that was before class. That, that was, was before for, class. Uh, yeah, that was for Penny Dreadful. That was like one of my first shows. Oh, cool. I don't know if you've watched Penny Dreadful. I've not seen it. No. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, very good show. I was in the first episode of that. You so did. Was... You did. There was a was it a film called like My Brother the Devil or something like that. Was that what it was called? Yeah, yeah that I was saw my that first ever film. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, that was, it was my really first. Really good film. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. I lo I love that film. Love that film. I'm so proud of that film. <laughs> um, and just because that's what really started it for me. Yeah. Um, just the passion for acting. And I remember being on that set and just having a moment of like, yeah, like this is this is what I want to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, my brother the devil. But since class, I would probably say um, a private war. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen it, but I remember um, seeing things about it. Um, was that with Rosamund Pike? Yeah, Rosamund Pike. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a couple other people in there that was just yeah. I remember that was big for me. I remember when I got it, I felt like yeah, <laughs> and the way it came out as well, and yeah, that was uh, monumental <laughs> for me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I can, <laughs> I can, I can imagine. Um, must be some of the comments. Uh, da, da, da. okay, Fadi. What was what was it like having what was it like having a week or two of filming where um you were on set? Did that impact how you played the, that episode versus others? What do you mean? What, like, what, um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe it means because you were on you were on a set like just within oh just on one set. So like just in that room did you all go stir crazy being oh in for detention classroom? oh yeah 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 for sure for sure yeah um it was a lot of fun though again and then we i remember we had to kind of live <laughs> like hippies we had we had snacks stacked in the cupboards and sweets and drinks and stuff like snacked in the cupboard because we couldn't really leave the, the set as much as we used to so whenever someone got hungry we'd go into the drawer and just you know get some crisps or something um but episode six i mean out of all the episodes I've really enjoyed, but even though it seems claustrophobic and, you know, we was trapped in one room, it was actually the most bonding we got to do together. And that's when we really connected the most, I feel. Yeah. Um, and had so much fun. I remember, like, even some of the stuff I see on my hard drive with that episode is just like, yeah, no, we had the most fun in that episode because I feel like that's the most time we got to spend together. Have you got, you must, you, you must have loads of um, like pictures of like being on, on set and stuff and like goof, I do, I have around. so many, I have so many. I actually was planning to vlog at that time and I really regret not doing it because I was actually recording four vlogs. Um, All right, I okay. so much footage of every episode, even on episode five when we was up in the mountains and you know, me having a little dance, raving inside the TARDIS and all of these, like, it was all, it was all <laughs> a lot, very surreal, but 
Yeah, I mean, I'll probably drop bits and bobs of them. I have, I have dropped some gems, but yeah, man, there's some some amazing clips. On guess, there. guess some, get get some more stuff out for episode, got episode seven and episode eight next week, um, and then and then yeah, I might all, have to actually. I might it's have. all going to be over. Get get uh, get all your. Um, it's been good because obviously I've been finding bits of like because I shot stuff of. Um, the orchestra like and like the strings like when we were recording the score and i never did anything with it because i moved on to other projects and i just didn't have time to make videos and then like this week and last week i actually found the time to be able to edit together some stuff of like you know showing what it was like behind the scenes doing the music and stuff which was which was great i mean obviously like the lockdown is not it's not a great thing and it's the whole situation is very terrible but i guess it's um using that t using the time to try and find stuff like you know like we, we wouldn't have done a class watch along you know if it had it not been for everyone suddenly yeah. having a lot more time so yeah. just trying to find ways of you know trying to celebrate it um Der derek richie said he might come on next week on twitter and do some uh tweeting for episode oh, seven I miss derek, man. oh do you That's... know what just oh, it just takes me back like the cast and crew down to every single member were just mm. just so special on that show man i feel like yeah, Derek, everyone, everyone. When I see pictures of them now, I'm just like, it was such a special moment that time and being friends with all of these people was just, yeah, it takes me back, man. <laughs> I, I, spoke, I spoke to Derek last night, actually. We did, um, we did a Zoom chat um, last night. We, we caught up for a couple of hours. Um, we, had, we, had a good, we, had, we had a good catch up. Oh, yeah? He, speak, he speaks very highly of you. Um, yeah. We weren't, we, weren't, we, we, weren't, we weren't talking about you last night, but um, before, he's, he always... I mean, all of you, really, he speaks, he speaks very highly, but I know, I know he thinks he, you know, you're a really fantastic actor and he's always, always saying nice things. So you've got, a, you've got, you've got him in your corner. No, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's, he's fighting for Right, back at him. <laughs> um, Sophie says, oh, tell them about the trash cupboard. Was that the crisps and stuff you were talking about? Yeah, that's the one I was talking about, yeah, so... I'm not, yeah, I think it got a bit mouldy at one point. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, somebody said, how long did that episode take to shoot? I don't know. How long, how long would that take to shoot? Like three weeks or something? Two weeks? I think it was about, yeah, two and a half weeks. Two, yeah. yeah. Two to three weeks, let's say. Um, people, people wanting more, more content. Yeah, they want, they want the content. Um, Sophie says, if you took videos of me singing Blair, please, Lord, let the ground swallow me up. I do have some footage release it. Release it to the people. I don't not 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 when we were recording in private, but I think round about episode eight because I was on set for episode eight when she was singing, and I think I got something. So um, uh, now that she's reminded me of that, I'm just gonna have to post release it. it. Uh, you should have said that, so if you really should have said that, you shot yourself in the foot there. Yeah, <laughs> she has. She has. I I really. If if there were ever to be more um, class, um, big finish, I really want to do an episode where Sophie has to sing like four or five songs <laughs> just to really piss her off. <laughs> yeah, that would be because I know because I know she doesn't like singing. Um, so just just to wind her up, um, and also because then we'll, we'll we'll get to hang out more as well, and it'll be it'll be fun. Um, but yeah, that would be. Have that you been be to the big finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've dropped I've yeah. I've dropped by a, a few times for various projects. Um, yeah. I, the day that I dropped by for the class recordings was when it was only Greg that was in um, yeah. that day. You didn't uh, drop by for the lunches, did you? I did drop by a lunchtime, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, in fact, I think every single time I've ever dropped by, it has been at lunchtime. Lunch yeah, yeah, I don't I'm see why, why that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the lunches are very infamous, aren't they? They're, they're absolutely incredible. They're absolutely, they're absolutely, absolutely incredible. And um, but yeah, I did a, I did a small cameo in the um, class big finish stories. I I did two cameos. I did the uh, the DJ in the Halloween episode, um, mm -hmm. and then I did another another one, which I'll let people figure out uh, <laughs> when they yeah. when they when they listen to it. You can you can see if you can um, work it out when you when you when you finally hear it. A lot of love for Sophie singing. She's an amazing singer. Big I mean, do you know what? She <coughs> she did a job. She did beautiful things with that. Uh... What happened to the big studio recorded version of Lost? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, release the video. <laughs> release the video of Sophie singing. Hashtag release the video of Sophie singing. If that if that trends next week um, or in two weeks' time, I'll definitely release it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, Heard it here first. Sophie says, "Nope, I was there." to 
I don't know what she's saying. Um, is there zero chance of more class audios? Um, there's not. There's not zero chance, but um, as, as from what I know, it, it's it's not it's not super likely. Um, the license. What class audios? Yeah, the license was for twelve episodes, all mm. set within season one, and that that license was given to them before. Um, class wasn't coming back for season two so the reason that they did that was so that um they didn't want the story at big finish to get ahead of the story um on tv obviously um so and i just know that there are there are some complications with with doing more so at the moment there aren't currently plans to i don't think there's zero chance though i mean i would i would i would love to see more i really yeah. enjoyed doing them i loved writing one this time um so you, you only got a couple of lines in in oh. this in the one that i did unfortunately um queen of rhodia but um i'd love to one write one that has more ram in it if there was a season two. Do you know what? Whoever's writing these, it, I'm, I'm loving what they're coming up with for everyone. So even Ram, Ram's liners in, in these uh, audios are brilliant as well. <laughs> They've really <laughs> kept, kept his character alive. Yeah, there's, I, I, two, two friends of mine wrote um, two, of the big, uh, two of the big finished ones this time. Um, Michael Dennis wrote one called Sweet Nothings. Uh, and then Catfish was written by my friend Kate, Kate Thorman who's a super talented writer who I've known for a long time. And um, Michael's, Michael's a big Doctor Who fan and he watched Class when it first um, came out. And um, Kate hadn't seen, um, she hadn't seen Class, but I knew that she was an amazing writer and I got her to watch like all the episodes and then she ended up doing an adventure. So she, she'd watched it fresh and she totally, you know, got the characters because she'd seen it. She watched it all quite quickly before she wrote it. Yeah. Um, can we have a class audio connection just based on the monsters and English folk songs of Sophie being more and more frustrated? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So everyone's calling out Sophie. Um, Blair, your story is amazing and beautiful. Was it the end? It felt like the end. I mean, so the end of um, the story that I wrote for um, uh, The Big Finish, because it's the sixth story and it's the last one, I, I, I did it. Uh, I was told it might be the last one, so I did a kind of... Um, epilogue a sort of uh, final speech which um, if it has to be the last one then it will feel it will feel okay for it to be the last one but I hope it's not the last one but um, that's why you never know you <laughs> never know you honestly never know you never know you, you're up, you'd you be up for it I'm sure I'd be up for it so 100%. anything for Big Finish honestly yeah well yeah because I've done I've done a lot of Torchwood for um for big finish and i i just love working with them um mm -hmm. scott mm -hmm. who obviously directed those episodes he's he's just really lovely to work with um mm -hmm. and then james um, who does the torchwood who produces torchwood he's he's brilliant fun to work with as well they're just lovely people yeah. you know you just lovely, want to work yeah, with lovely people, people lovely environment yeah um somebody's saying i love your eyes i don't know if that's your eyes or my i think it's your eyes because you've got lots of you've yours, got man. lots of light you've got lots of light on your face you can see your eyes probably mine just look like black what color are your eyes yeah. mine mine is mine are a mixture of like gray and blue and green but oh, you can't stop really, it, you sexy man you can't really <laughs> see they sort of just look brown here and they're not they're not they're not brown they're sort of they're a mixture of all sorts of different colors oh they're all coming out now <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know what i want more a class musical or a class series to I don't think there will ever be a class musical. Class musical? I don't, yeah. I, I think there could be. I, you know think there could Greg, be. I reckon Greg can sing. I reckon. Some, I've not I, heard I, him sing. I, I, neither have I, but I reckon it could be one of his hidden talents. Can, he has can, can, can you sing? No. <laughs> no. I can't. Can, can, you, can you hold a tune, like, at all? Do you know what? I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to sing for you. I was just uh, clearing my throat. But when I started <laughs> acting, I actually done um, that. Yeah, I've done. Some people might know this. I've done Grease, uh, uh, the musical, and I've done Guys and Dolls, the musical. Um, really? So I sang when I was young. This might have been before my voice broke or something. So I got away with it, like he's a kid or whatever. But it was good enough. I, I can't sing. I can't sing. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I I've got I've got some great software. That um could that could tune your tune your voice. So you I know what? Probably I wish get you would have had that okay. for me when I was going up for Aladdin. That would have helped. R really? Oh, could have done it. Could have done it. You could have helped me with my audition there. But yeah, what my, was my, voice, my voice. Oh yeah, there you go. Not what funny. was it like auditioning for um Aladdin? Obviously, that's a <laughs> huge, <laughs> that huge film. 
I had to, yeah, I was singing A Whole New World for about a week in my house. <laughs> so what, that was how, how, how do you feel when you hear that, that song now? Did you hear it so many times that now when oh, you hear I, it? I've never hated a song so much now. When I hear it, I'm just like, turn that shit on. <laughs> 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 yeah. no, I get a bit bitter with roles that I don't get. No, I'm joking. But, no, um, oh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah, mind. Yeah. I've had that, actually, I had that. I'll tell you what, this, this is kind of a bad uh, sportsmanship of me. But my first ever role, um, I was an extra in World War Z. Um, and I remember I had an amazing sequence in the film. I even got to see Brad Pitt. I was like, this is, this is it. Uh, amazing sequence. It was so powerful. And then when the film came out, I didn't get a chance to see it. So one of my friends was going to watch it. And I said to him, bro, that, look out for me. He messaged me. He's like, oh, you, you didn't make the final cut. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Have I watched World War Z till now? Of course not. No. <laughs> but you, you've not... You've... You've not I watched it, it. it? No, I probably should. I've, I've, I can let go of that now, but I probably should watch it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got to say, I've never, I've never seen it either. I had a friend who did um, special effects on it, but I've, I've, I've not seen it either. Somebody was saying, Sandra was saying, she, she was wondering if the Big Finish um, audios are available worldwide. As far as I know, they are available worldwide. Yeah, as, certainly as downloads. I don't know if you yeah. can um, uh, get the CDs worldwide, um, but I know that the downloads are definitely available. So yeah, absolutely. Um, people can get that. Um, reading some of the comments. Yeah. The, CD, the, the, the CDs won't um, come out for a while because I think they've closed the factory down for the, the warehouse for sending them out because of um, Corona. So it will take a while. Um, oh. Go boys, go! You are awesome. Love you both. Got ahead, but thanks for doing the insta lives, Blair. Oh, Sophie, Matt Perkins, Matt. So we love we love you too, Shopkins. Shopkins, um, Perkins. Who I think it was Wayne Yip that made that name for her. Is it? Okay. That's how she. That's how she um, signed stuff as well. Because when when I was at um, a convention with her, she was signing stuff, and she signs it as, Sh as Shopkins. I mean, it's, okay. it just it just looks like Shopkins. Um, yeah. Somebody would have loved the Torchwood class crossover. Yeah, I uh, I would have liked that we, as well. Um, I think we had a crossover at uh, Miracle Day. <laughs> of, like the, the people, and that was that was fun. I don't I, people I don't people crossing on... people crossing over on the stage at Miracle Day is probably the closest we're gonna get to a <laughs> yeah. class crossover. Unfortunately, um, somebody said uh, somebody said Greg can sing. Oh, there you go. Do you know what Greg? Yeah. Aside, from, I, I just have to say this. I love everyone, but Greg is such an amazing actor. Oh yeah, so I, wa I watched him in Hunters. Um, and he just, yeah, he just blew me away. And then just to think of his character in class, like as Charlie, and to go play a character like that in Hunters, like, we have to put respect on Greg's name because he is, he is a top, top, top class actor. I, I, think, I think he's phenomenal. Have, have, you watched, have you watched all of Hunters? Or have you just seen the, I think the I've start? got, like, two episodes left. Yeah, I, I, I started watching it a um, week before last because I knew I was going to be chatting to Greg. And um, yeah, I've actually finished it now. I've got to, I've got to episode 10. So I won't, I won't, I won't spoil anything for you. But yeah, Greg yeah. is amazing in it. And also, he's, he's, got loads of, he's got loads of screen time. Like, he's loads like... the screen time and what he does with it, he's such a character. Like, his character probably stands out one of the most out of everyone. And yeah. That's just, you know, credit to what he did. Like, you can really tell he, he created something special there and something to, to remember. And he's, and he's so different from, obviously, like, what he does in, in class. He's, he's just... Because he's obviously... He's, he's, he's horrible. In, uh, yeah, he's, he's so he's a horrible, horrible character. But even even his character in in class, like Charlie, has so many layers to it, and just what oh he, yeah, just you know what goes through his mind and what he does with that is just yeah. Greg Greg Austin, put some respect on his name. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, somebody's saying um, bye, Sophie. Hope hope we can do another one with Sophie. I actually I did an insta live with with Sophie um, on the first episode. Um, she joined. Yeah. I did one. Just I just did one myself, and then Sophie. I noticed that she joined in, so I was like, "Oh, you know, join the conversation." That's how this all started. Is that I'd, I'd never done a, a live video before, and I did one after the first class watch along, and then Sophie ended up joining, and then I was like, "Oh, well, then, you know, we should we should do some more um, with various people." So, um, yeah. but maybe we can. I'd love to find a way where we could like somehow get everyone back together over like a Zoom call, but then like feed that it would look into like Instagram. One of the episodes, I think from is it. The coach of the dragon tattoo, you know, when he like when everyone's yes. trying to figure out the dragon, <laughs> like everyone's on Skype. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could we could we could try and organize something where we. I bet there's a way of doing it. I bet there's a way I'm of sure doing it. I'm sure there is. 
I bet there's a way of doing it on like, uh, and then like feeding it into YouTube via a Zoom call and then doing like a YouTube live. Yeah. But the only point we need to find a way of letting people know about it so people could tune Someone in. Someone the... Zoom call and stream it. Uh, yeah, Zoom call and stream it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that we'll, we'll, we'll look into it. We'll look into it. Um, yeah. It was the same. Um, speaking of crossovers, if you could have had Ram in any other TV show slash movie, uh, which so which which TV or film would you like Ram to show up in, like as a character? It's, I can't, it's kind of also the same as like you know what, what, would you, what would you love to be in? <laughs> if you had like a dream casting, a dream role of like what you could do. Do you know what? I'll tell you a couple of stuff. Well, I would love to play. It, you know, I wanted to play the Doctor's companion. I don't see why I would. Um, I would love yeah. to play maybe the Doctor. I've had one yeah. interesting. Um, this has been a dream of mine as well. But there's something that happened in my life that's kept this dream alive. Um, and funny enough, it was actually from Penny Dreadful. But I remember when I got cast for Penny Dreadful, the writer, I think his name was Josh King. Um, anyway, the writer of Penny Dreadful happened to be the writer of. Um, the James Bond movie Skyfall as well. Really? Um, and then the writer of the James Bond movies, as soon as I got into set, he was like, Josh King said that you're going to play James Bond one day. Um, and that Dude. came from the writer of James Bond. So that's keeping the dream alive. But, you know, we dream. You, you we make dream. a great, you make a great James Bond. You make a great James Bond. Um, I would love that. I'm sure, I'm sure I've seen pictures of you in a, in a, in a tux somewhere as well like you you can you can you can totally like pull off the james bond look as well i would love to i'd love to i mean it's probably there's probably other people that dream but like i said it was just a moment in my life that just you know kept that dream alive um <clears throat> yeah and i remember i had another moment like that with um this got nothing to do with what we're talking about <laughs> that's all right but um it was with benedict cumberbatch i remember <clears throat> we was my friend little sim she was doing um something for danny boyle at the royal court called like the children's monologues um and i remember she invited me she was performing as well so luckily for me i was upstairs in like the green room with just the most a-list of actors you could ever be with um benedict cumberbatch was there a lot of other people would have there john snow his girl ev just everyone you could imagine was there and i really wanted to talk to benedict cumberbatch but i was just so terrified and scared and i'm so bad at networking and i'm actually like i said to other people before that i'm shy in person and i you know, mm. I just didn't know how to go about it. Um, so Sims went up to Benedict Cumberbatch and she was like, um, by the way, here, my friend is an actor, <laughs> you know. So then I sat with him, she kind of set me up and I'm talking to him, like, what, what, you know, what do I say? And I'm saying to him, yeah, like, I'm an actor. He's like, where you been in? Um, so I was like, I've done, you know, My Brother the Devil. Actually, funnily enough, I just finished a show called River. He was like, no. Was you, was you the guy from, the, you know, that scene? I was like to him, yeah, like, that was me. He was like, oh, my God, like, literally, I was so impressed with your performance. I was telling my wife about it. And just, you know, he actually acknowledged my re performance, remembered it, and was telling his wife about it. That's that, nice. for me, completely just, like, shocked me. And then from that moment, he just took me on board. And then he was even like, you know, come with me downstairs. And he took me backstage to watch the performance from backstage. And as we was going down, he was introducing me to all his friends saying, you know, this guy's, this guy's great. And I was just like in this dream world. Um, <laughs> but then I remember when we were filming class, I think he was filming a show as well at Pinewood. And then he saw me and came up to me and recognized me and was just like, oh, you know, as if, you know, we was friends almost. Aww. And that for me again was just a special moment to see that people remember and actually do pay attention and, you know. I wonder, he might... Uh... I wonder if he was filming Sherlock, if it was in... I think he was, I think he was, I yeah. think he was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really good to hear that he's, you know, he's just a, no, he's got he's a good a, memory, he's a nice guy. Yeah, very, very, very nice guy. Somebody said Scooby Gang Skype Sesh, um, Penguin, uh, Penguin Tim. I appreciate that. That's, that um, that's a reference to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is in one of the musical cues. Cool. That's the bit where they're all up on the Zoom, on the Zoom call. That's the name of the music that's underneath that bit. Um, Ram for series thirteen, yeah, man, get him, uh, get him in there for the next series. Start, what are they call? What are people starting these days? Um, petition, start a petition. <laughs> yeah, get it um, going. Get some iron brew for next week, Blair. Um, I'll, I'll work on that. It's a bit, it's a bit late at night to drink iron brew. 
Mm. Uh, too much. It's got caffeine in it, so it'll keep it'll keep me um it'll keep me up. Um, mm. Cumberbatch for Blowfield, uh, Blowfeld, Blowfield, <laughs> for Bond. There you go. Loving it, loving it. Let's put it out there. <laughs> the, so that I mean the the most recent James Bond film. I don't know when they're going to release that. They're meant to release it in September now, aren't they? But I don't. I just don't. We just don't know what's going to happen. Because yeah. like cin cinemas might have to be um, fifty percent capacity, which is going to then have a huge effect on box office. It's going to be like half half the amount of money they can make. Do you really feel like we're going to go in? It's, it's going to go in down that road where people are going to really become that antisocial, and cinemas are going to be spaced apart. And I really hope I, not. I but I think until until we can get a vaccine. If there is, or like really stringent testing, I think a lot of stuff like that, when it does reopen, I think it will be 50% um, capacity for restaurants and cinemas. And that's kind of what they've been doing in China. Um, so yeah. I've got a friend who lives in Beijing and um, that's sort of how they've been going about stuff in terms of making it work uh, over there. But you just don't know. I mean, things are changing all the time, coming up with new treatments, you know. We don't know how, when a vaccine's going to come around. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just it's a bit crazy. So you've got, yeah. you've, got your, you've got your niece there, you were saying as well. So you've got people, you've got people around that you can, you can chat to through all this. And yeah, as long as you're not yeah, going too, too bad. Yeah, it's just weird, man. It's just weird because I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really in, into other things as well, and it's just all a bit, it's all a bit strange right now. But I'm just hoping when it's all over that it's just not that we haven't become victims to all of this, and we are actually, you know, become antisocial and distant and lacking sort of. Yeah, I, I think I think I well, I think in some ways it will it will have an effect on our on our psychology of of how we. Like, I think to begin with, I'll be almost a little bit more afraid to, like, you know, go out and see people mm. and, and mm. stuff. But also, I think it's been, I've got in contact with people and I've had, like, Zoom calls with people and proper catches, you know, catch-ups um, yeah. for people I've not seen for years um, where, you know, we've just been able to sort of uh, reach out and spend some proper time chatting and catching up because we've just sort of people who are just, like, really busy or oh, can't chat right now. You just don't make the time for some of those old friendships. So yeah. in some ways, I think it's it's it's... it's made some of my relationships more social maybe not in person but hopefully when we come out of it i might you know hopefully make more time to actually see see people in person yeah that's what that's what i hope that's what i hope yeah i, hope so. I feel like yeah well at least everyone that's in this chat can hopefully you know you know still be cool with their friends and you know shake hands yeah the whole shaking hands thing i mean that's the sort of I mean, I'm not worried about us not having to shake hands, but I really hope that we don't go into this sort of like robotic world where everyone's like. Well, I think I, I, th I think when it's I think when it's when it's safe to do to do that again, I think people will really enjoy being able to you know shake hands again and being able to give like hugs again. Like, I'm I'm a, I'm a real hugger. Like even hey, when I've met hey. when I've met people for like you know just like one or two times, it's not a hand handshake for the first time. Then it's like. So I've I've got a you know it's it's got it's got to get sorted out so I can hug people again because I'm missing yep. I'm missing my hugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope we keep doing things like this. It's been so nice. My mum's met up with people she was at uni with uh, thirty years ago. Oh, there you go. So it's, well, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. People be you know doing Instagram live stuff like that. Yep. I think what it's done is it's it's forced us to use technology. It, it sped up some of the ways um, that bits of society use technology. So people weren't doing Instagram lives quite as much we yeah. are now. I think yeah. certainly older generations are used to watching like terrestrial television. Some of them have started using Netflix more um, mm -hmm. and like streaming platforms. And I think all this would have happened over the next 10 years anyway. But there's some, some aspects of the lockdown seem to have just like sped up some of the things mm -hmm. that I think would have happened anyway. So it's quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of pros and cons to come out of it. I feel like even with me, I've definitely been engaging more with my people and, you know, got to know my people a lot more. So, yeah, man, it's been, it's been weird, but we yeah. move. <laughs> got got to, got to, got to just keep on, keep on trucking. Have you, have you watched Afterlife, by the way? 
Afterlife. I haven't. No, no. I've heard really good things though about um about season two. I haven't seen season one either. Is, is it good? Oh God, Blair, watch it now. Oh really? Oh, yeah, yeah. So good. Honestly, right now it's top the list of my favorite all time shows. I did. I did notice it was getting some really, really good reviews. Yeah. No, it's really good, man. It's so genius how it just how he can go from like morbid to just making your heart warm in the same sort of moment. Really, and that's what yeah. that's about. And even in just their moments of like, you know, sorrow, he just really sees a light at the end of the tunnel and just kind of like in his running views as well. And that really ref reflects in his writing. Uh, um, so I feel like he can really relate and he gives his writing just tells these in quotations, kind of like how to ways to move in life and just how to become a better person and how to treat people and how to love. And yeah, and that's really, really heartwarming, beautiful, amazing acting. Just, oh, nice. yeah, absolutely love it. Okay, it's good. It's good on my list. I've got like a bookmark um, folder in my in my browser stuff that is lined up like to watch because obviously we've got we've got more time to watch things now. I've got I've got a huge list of stuff, but I think what, how long are the episodes in Afterlife? They're like, they're like 25 minutes. minutes. I've seen there's not everyone here is a fan of Ricky Gervais, but <laughs> oh, we got we got I've got some comments about that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, I mean Afterlife. If you haven't watched it and you you, you don't know about Ricky Gervais for some reason. Um, check it out. Okay, uh, I'm looking. I'm looking at some of the comments. Uh, da, da, da. I can't stand Ricky Gervais. <laughs> I do. What's the one thing I do really appreciate about Ricky Gervais is the he's really um, on it with like animal cruelty, and he's really like you know shames people um, and institutions that aren't um, looking after animals properly. Like he just he loves because yeah. I love I love dogs so much mm -hmm. and. Um, I know that's a real passion of his, just to make sure that you know they get they get treated properly. Um, so I, I've got a lot of respect for him for for doing that. Yeah. Um, you guys should drop a list of your favourite shows. I'm always open to do suggestions. I mean, I've got I've got loads of I've got loads of favourite shows, but I've got um, shows that I want to watch um, coming up. Uh, I do want to watch um, Watchmen. Um, the, so HBO made like a because uh, there was a film of Watchmen ages ago, but then um, they did a TV series of it last year, and I still haven't watched it yet. It's meant to be really good. It's written by a guy called Damon Lindelof, who did um, who did Lost and The Leftovers. Actually, The Leftovers. That's an amazing TV series. Um, have you ever Have you ever seen that, Faddy? It's it's. No. it's Someone good. recommended Quite... Extraction, the film. Have you watched that? Okay, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Did you watch Tiger? <laughs> I haven't watched. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. And it's weird because I got into a bit of a true crime binge, um, and I listened to um, the podcast Serial, and then I listened to one um, called S Town, um, and um, I feel like Tiger King, and also um, don't um, fuck with cats, which is uh, oh. another Netflix one. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I so, mean, what a good show. Yeah, I really enjoyed Don't Fuck with Cats. So I feel like Tiger King, obviously it's very it's different, but there is, there yeah. is, it, it obviously goes that there's like a, I don't want to know, you know, don't want to spoil anything, but I know there's like a murder and stuff and it all gets I mean, weird, it's not, so. you know what, it's not, it's not even that deep. I actually just watched it. I mean, it was a cool story, but just for the entertainment value of it, they've got some, some interesting characters in there. Um, yeah. So yeah <laughs> I, I, I watched it for the laughs, to be honest with you. Um, somebody, yeah, somebody pointed out we're get, we're getting close to the hour, so we're gonna we're gonna get cut off relatively soon because it cuts off after an hour, and it tells yeah. you. So, we'll, so we'll, we'll we'll start to draw to it. Any any last minute questions from people, and then we'll um we'll get on it. Somebody saying you need to watch the Mandalorian. I haven't watched that. I've only watched the first episode of that. That's the Star Wars TV series on Disney Plus. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's on it's on the list. Um, what else, what else did I um? Killing Eve? Have you watched Killing Eve, Faddy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't. I watched bits of it. I didn't finish it, but that's that's amazing. Well, it was. I really enjoyed it. But sometimes, like I was actually watching Gangs of London until I got caught up with Afterlife and decided to binge Afterlife. Um, so that happens to me. My attention span me not great. <laughs> <laughs> well, Killing Eve, I've only seen season one, so I don't know about season two and season three. But I really, I really love season one. Um, yeah. It's very good. Uh, Blair, uh, love your music for the Doctor Who lockdown shorts. Um, oh, cool. And he's doing the music for the next one on Wednesday. That's amazing. Well well done, James. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Um, oh, Faddy, you seem, you seem to like doing quizzes. If you could host a quiz show, 
which one would it be? The Chase, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, et cetera, et cetera. What would be your favorite? Uh, it would probably be Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Um, I love The Chase. I love, uh, is it Bradley Walsh? Does he do The Chase? Yeah, or is he yeah, he did. yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Does. yeah. Um, yeah. But probably Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's a classic, isn't it? I help people cheat. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, you should, you should watch that thing called Quiz on ITV about the guy that cheated. That cheated, on... yeah, that's why. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, no, these quizzes are banner, man. People are enjoying them. Oh my god, someone it's gonna it's gonna cut out. It's gonna cut out because someone literally just said something about the coronavirus guy. Oh really? It's 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 frozen. Yes, because someone mentioned something about this guy that kept coming up on my lives and you still hear me. Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone. It's gone. It's it, it's going in and out. I think. So I think we're. I think we're going to. Can you see to, me? I think we're going to have to end. I can't see you. No, I can but just sort of hear you. Yeah. We'll bring it. We'll bring it. We'll bring it to to a close then. It was great. Great to speak to you, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you, you're looking well and you're enjoying the watch. Uh, the watch alongs and stuff. And uh, got episode seven next week, and then we've got the finale the week after. It's gonna be no, fun. Thank you, mate. And keep doing what you're doing, honestly. Oh, you've cut out. Love you, mate. Oh, I love you too, man. It's been oh. an, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you soon. Take care of yourself, man.